What is this strange metal thing on the bottom of my driver's side? I noticed this on my car recently, but own this car for 4 years now. Either I've completely missed this for 4 years, or someone has attached a metal plate with a pipe coming off of it. It's a Ford Fusion 2014, and I haven't noticed it on other Fusions when I try to glance at the bottom without looking suspicious. Your mechanic is gonna want that back, it's part of a lift, they have probably been scratching their heads wondering where on earth that thing has gotten off to for days. What is this plastic gold tray with two round containers and foam rows attached, smells like spices, I got it as a gift from my new neighbors, they're Indian. It looks like healthy or turmeric, and a kumkum tray. It has multiple uses, but is mostly used by Indians to apply to their forehead. Also it is offered to God. What is this wooden object that looks like a clothespin? One side broad another side a furrow. It's made out of wood. Tried to crack nuts with it, but that did not work. That's a nutcracker. Possible high school project peanut cracker. Looks like it was made from different types of scrap than wood, that would be found in a school wood shop. What is this plastic device with springy thumb rest? A hook on one end, and a metal loop that can pivot. I found this on my driveway after construction debris was cleaned up. It doesn't have any identifiers on its surface, except for a molded number 4. There are some hooks and functional features on either end, and the thumb rest is springy and flexible. On one end is a metal loop that can pivot. It looks like it's one half of some sort of ratcheting cable holder clamp, missing the other half, along with a strap maybe. What is this large white pole that usually has the panels closed, but rarely has people working in the panels for days and nights at a time? The base of the pole is surrounded by a wooden fence with some other electrical looking items. It's called a monopole, one of the types of telecommunications towers. They are a little bit more stealthy, but not meant to be invisible. Most 5G antennas are smaller and on the top of light poles to be stealthy. What is this glass sand-like material? Shows up periodically and then disappears. I noticed a lot after some rain. This is in Texas at an apartment complex if that is helpful. It's multicolored, has shades of brown, blue, green, and tan up close. It is a gritty texture. I mention the location because I'm not sure if it is some kind of natural substance. There is a lot of limestone in my area. This only ever shows up in this one spot. And I walk the entire complex every day. It has been disappearing and reappearing for months. People are saying roofing material, but that looks like glass granules to me. The color distribution looks about right. My mother sold sandblasting materials and machinery for 30 years. I showed her this pic and she agrees completely. She could probably name the grit, brand, size, etc. Someone must be performing sandblasting in the area. What is this conical coil about 5 inches long? Most likely stainless steel. Found in the back of our kitchen utensil junk drawer. We cannot remember purchasing this or what it is for. I've asked everyone in the house if they recall what it is for, but no luck. It's a turkey lacer. You use this instead of using twine or trussing string to tie your turkey together. I found this hanging from the ceiling of a closet in my 1960 built house in Ohio. It is shiny silver metal about the size of a light bulb. Can't tell if it is electricity attached. What is it? It's a rare Delta Electric Company 12 volt marine horn. Those horns are really really loud, especially in a confined space. I'd be itching to go up and see where the wires lead to. What is this iron cone on either side of a gate, outside the entry to a building in Bath, England? It's a snuffer. A visitor to your house would use it to put out their torch. What are these blue reflecting markers for? Mounted on a pole facing the field. Found on a lonesome road in northern Germany. These blue reflective markers are mounted on every other pole, facing the field. What is this thing? 
They are reflecting the headlights of cars to the fields, so that deer avoid crossing the road, so it's for the safety of cars and animals, because of accidents with wild animals in the area. The Regional State Road Construction Authority has installed blue reflectors on a stretch of 400 meters. Wild animals can see the color blue and find it a frightening color, leading them to pause longer on the side of the road. It's an old ruler, but I don't know how it is used or what it measures. Any ideas? It's a slide rule. It is a mechanical analog computer that is used primarily for multiplication and division, and for functions such as exponents, roots, logarithms, and trigonometry, also known colloquially in the United States as a slipstick. What is this thing I found on the dashboard of an old GMC, a lucite-like material with ridges? It's a traffic light viewer. Traffic lights back in the day were mounted on the same side you stopped on, which sometimes made it difficult to see the light if you were first in line. This helped reflect the light from above, so you could tell when the light changed. What are these random straight but not parallel lines next to my office building? What's happening here? They are deep trenches placed non-parallel to each other for some reason, but with strange spacing. It's hard to guesstimate size, but I estimate each trench to be approximately 20 meters long. You probably live in the UK, where planning authorities often require developers to do evaluation trial trenching, to make sure there are no important archaeological artifacts that might be destroyed by excavation. If the trial trenches turn up anything interesting, a more serious archaeological dig may be required before the building can begin. What is this 4 meters high funnel with three outlets on the grass, near a playground and a beer garden in the west of Germany? It's blue, made out of metal, and very stable. It's a three-way basketball hoop. You can score, but you don't know who gets the ball next. My kid's school just got one. The kids love it. That's what they did for fun in the 80s. I found it at a used bookstore, all parts rotate and the markings makes me think it could be for mapping. It's metallic with what looks like the months and astrological signs in a different language, maybe Latin. I have no clue what the symbols are all around it. It has two different faces with one face having a rotating arm, and the other with two different moving parts. I've looked up some star mapping tools which was my first instinct, but couldn't find something really resembling this. It's an astrolabe, the ancient times GPS, used usually for navigation, also for time measurement and other scientific uses. I got one similar to a keyring. What is this hatch I've seen on the outside of houses in the UK? I saw this on the outside of a lot of buildings when I walked around Cambridge. Most were so broken that I doubt they are in use. Some just had a hole where the hatch should have been. It's a boot scraper for getting the mud off your shoes before going in. They are pretty common. I had one on my last house, and a lot of pre-Victorian town center houses still have them, from the days when streets were unsaved and covered in horse poo. My great-grandfather bought several hundred of these at an army surplus store, shortly after World War II. He planned to build something cool and useful out of them, but it never materialized. This is the last survivor that we know of, with hundreds of them for sale at a surplus. It must have been a fairly common object. It is made of clear plastic and is hollow on the inside. It has an opening in the bottom, surrounded by what seems to be 10 mounting holes. With the thickness of the plastic and the number of mounting holes, it must have been meant to withstand some significant weight or pressure. What is it? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.